The Imitation of Christ, Chapter 6, On Control of the Desires Whenever a man desires anything inordinately, at once he becomes restless. A proud and avaricious man is never at rest, but a poor and humble man enjoys the riches of peace. A man who is not yet perfectly dead to self is easily tempted and is overcome even in small and trifling things. And he who is weak in spirit and still a prey to the senses and bodily passions can only with great difficulty free himself from worldly lusts. Therefore he is sad when he does so withdraw himself and is quickly angered when anyone opposes him. Yet if he obtains what he desires, his conscience is at once stricken by remorse because he has yielded to his passion, which in no way helps him in his search for peace. True peace of heart can be found only by resisting the passions, not by yielding to them. There is no peace in the heart of a worldly man who is entirely given to outward affairs, but only in a fervent spiritual man. Chapter 7 On Avoiding Vain Hope and Conceit Whoever puts his confidence in man or in any creature is very foolish. Do not be ashamed to be the servant of others for love of Jesus Christ and to appear poor in this world. Do not trust in yourself but put your whole confidence in God. Do what you are able and God will bless your good intention. Do not trust in your own knowledge nor in the cleverness of any man living, but rather in the grace of God who aids the humble and humbles the proud. James chapter 4 verse 6 Do not boast of your possessions. If you have any, nor of the influence of your friends, but glory in God. 2 Corinthians Chapter 10, verse 17. Who gives all things and desires above all things to give you himself. Do not be vain about your beauty or strength of body, which a little sickness can mar and disfigure. Take no pleasure in your own ability and cleverness, lest you often God who has himself bestowed on you all your natural gifts. Do not esteem yourself better than others, lest you appear worse in the eyes of God, who alone knows the heart of man. Psalm 94 verse 2 and John chapter 2 verse 25 Do not be proud of your good deeds, for God does not judge as men, and what delights men often displeases God. If you have any good qualities, remember that others have more, and so remain humble. It does you no harm when you esteem all others better than yourself, but it does you great harm when you esteem yourself above others. True peace dwells only in the heart of the humble, but the heart of the proud is ever full of pride and jealousy.